Stark. I build neat stuff. I got a great girl. And occasionally, save the world. So why can't I sleep? I think everybody has an awareness, kind of the world over, of the Marvel Universe, you know? And if you'd ask someone 20 years ago, could they ever make a movie of the Avengers, you'd say, well, of course not. And if they did, it would be stupid. So I think that Tony Stark and the Iron Man franchise really grounded the Marvel Universe in something that was tangible and cool and made it a little bit real and helped everyone think that the other stuff maybe could happen. I'm just really happy to be back here. This, uh, this Iron Man 3 turned out really good. I'm really happy. Things are different now. I have to protect the one thing that I can't live without. That's you. Mr. Stark. Today is the first day of what's left of your life. Sir Ben Kingsley is probably going to be the biggest surprise uh, in Iron Man 3. What he does and what he pulls off and um, the arc his character has and how he manages it is a shocking display of uh, craftsmanship. Pepper gets to do some action in this movie, and I, I, I had never done any action before, so I really enjoyed that a lot. It was fun. Very different for me, you know, flying up in the air and turning upside down and stuff like that. I think the reason to see this one is that women, you know, the, there's a lot of girl power in this one, uh, which is great, and it's a little bit different for um, the Iron Man movies, so it's fun. I'm not afraid of you. No politics here. Just good old-fashioned revenge.